Good planning prevented pandemic problems for public water suppliers in Minnesota. MDH releases annual drinking water report showing no major issues. Despite the many challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, public water utilities in Minnesota continued to provide safe drinking water to millions of Minnesotans over the past year. According to new data from the Minnesota Department of Health. The statistical results of the study work and constant monitoring of thousands of public water suppliers are contained in the 2020 Annual Drinking Water Compliance Report released by MDH this week. But the real story is the work that has gone on behind the scenes to deliver safe drinking water to large and small communities across Minnesota. The public water systems in Minnesota adjusted their operations and found ways to provide critical services while keeping health and safety as the highest priority. Most systems were ready to deal with the pandemic as a result of contingency plans already in place. Cross training of employees was one way in which utilities prepared, making sure distribution crews and those at the treatment plant were sufficiently versed on one another's job to be able to step in in case employees became sick. Many followed a plan based on the 40% drill which MDH promoted more than 10 years ago during the H1N1 influenza outbreak. The drill consists of randomly selecting 40% of uti utility staff to be listed as out sick and conducting a drill on how to maintain operations with the remaining 60% of employees. Although no utilities sustained such a reduction because of illnesses among their staff, public water systems were prepared for such a scenario. Early in the pandemic, Kyle Heinrichs, the superintendent for the water utility in Mankato, used his experience with the 40% drill to create a work plan and schedule that would allow them to continue with the daily duties of managing a utility while losing as much as two-thirds of the workforce. Fortunately, the utility escaped the virus and did not lose any employees to illness. However, Heinrich said, I felt confident, especially with previous cross-training we had done, that we could have maintained the 24-hour operations even if we had people out sick. With proactive planning, Rochester Public Utilities, RPU, was able to prevent disruptions in day-to-day -day water services. Doug Clamorous, the manager of maintenance and construction for RPU Water, said that they staggered the start time to reduce contact between employees and relied on PLAST cross-training to ensure work could continue through water challenges that they encountered. Clamor said, we went to one person jobs as much as possible, reduced group work and limited contact with customers and one another. Rick Whalen, the manager of utility operations for the city of Eden Prairie, said that their past planning for emergency response and resiliency was helpful, but the pandemic was something unique in nature. The city began planning as soon as they were aware of the pandemic, dividing employees into three-person group works to limit exposure. That way, if anyone got it, only two other people would be affected. They were able to get through the pandemic without any instances of COVID among operators in the water treatment plant. Minnesota Commissioner of Health Jan Malcolm said, partnerships were key to ensuring the pandemic did not create problems for the state's drinking water supply. 
She also did say, providing safe drinking water to homes and businesses day in and day out doesn't just happen on its own, but is the result of hard work and extensive partnerships. Through floods, tornadoes, and other disasters that shut down businesses and other operations, public water systems have consistently maintained a safe supply of water for its customers. COVID-19 has been a challenge, but the drinking water profession continued to come through. Sandeep Berman, the manager of MDH's section of drinking water protection, has said, through the COVID-19 pandemic has necessitated changes in how we do our work. The drinking water program at MDH has sustained its work to keep drinking water safe for everyone, everywhere in Minnesota, in partnership with 6,724 public water systems across the state. In addition to its normal operations, drinking water protection supported public water systems in dealing with the pandemic in many ways, including establishing web pages to contain information about COVID-19 and drinking water, creating and sharing guidance on how to respond to changing needs, adapting sampling plans to protect the health of staff while ensuring that all public water supplies continue to meet Safe Drinking Water Act requirements for monitoring, modifying the requirements for water operator certification and contracting with a vendor to provide certified operators to help systems who become short-staffed because of illnesses to employees. Connecting certified water operators to online training opportunities. In 2020, more than 99% of Minnesotans drinking water from public water systems received water that met all federal standards throughout the year. In addition to the report issued by the state, communities across Minnesota are required to issue their customer confidence report to their public water supply customers by July 1st every year. Those reports provide details on results of monitoring for each public water system.